Hey, kids, a couple of ground rules. This is not a playground. We must respect nature. Now, everybody interested in hearing a lecture on wilderness survival, stay here. Everybody else, be back in an hour. Uh, maybe we'll postpone the lecture. Much do you, Sal? How can you tell? The way you're looking around. You can figure I don't hike much by the way I'm looking around? Sure. And because you just sat down in a big patch of poison ivy. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get you, E.B. I know. I'm a cool guy. I'm E.B., and this is my partner, Sally. Axel Pomeroy. It's an exact replica of a Belgian Ranger. Pretty good, kid. You know copters? Probably. He knows everything. I have others, but this is my favorite. Really? Can we see him? Uh, well, okay, come on. Just don't touch nothing, or you'll be sorry. I designed them all. I can do that, you know. I make toys and stuff for a living. What are you doing out here in the woods? People were getting mad because I was flying them in town. You know they make that sound. <laughs> I come out here so nobody gets bothered. It smells like baby powder. I, I told you, I told you, I'm making this toy, you know? Uh, a doll that has a rash and uh, needs baby powder. I told you to touch nothing! This is compressed air. You make a bad move on this and BOOM! Looks like a scuba tank. What do you need that out here for? I use the compressed air to blow out the dirt in the engines. Boy, are you two always this nosy? Yeah. yeah. Um. Um. Who are you? Oh. Um, 
tonight. They're coming tonight. Who's coming tonight? Look to the sky. Tonight, I can feel it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a snail, E-I-E-I-O. With a here and a there and a here and a there and a E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> you know, something about that song has always bothered me. What's that, honey? The way they spell form. E-I-E-I-O. OK, kids. Lights out. Good night, bug. Ah! Oh, idiot. Ah! Now you made the tent fall. What is the matter with you? Oh, you stupid. Mr. Pomeroy, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't scare the children like this. Scare the children? What about me? I'm a wreck! Whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's just get some sleep and we'll worry about it in the morning. Come on. Don't suppose you have uh, any extra uh, room in your tent for a scared fellow camper? Good night, Mr. Pomeroy. suppose it was? Don't know. I think I'll stay up a while. Be careful. You talking to me? Hey, I know you. You talking to me? You must be. Because I'm the only one here. Okay. You bet. I'm surprised the kids went to sleep so easy. I thought they'd be too scared. They were too scared. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Keep on snoring like that, and you're getting a sweat sock in your mouth. Something's out there. I'll find it. You sure I can't come, Dad? Sorry, E.B. I can travel faster alone. We landed over there, probably about a mile or so away. Do so. I'll be back in no time. Be careful. Maybe 
they're friendly aliens, like E.T. Then again, maybe they'll take us prisoners and nuke the whole planet. What's with the hat? I'm not on a case. Helps me think. Or whatever it is. I sure want to run into an alien from... Is it from outer space? No. Where'd it come from? Japan. Japan? Yeah, it's made in Japan. It says so right here. saw the whole thing. You did? Are you from that camp with all those kids? Yeah. You don't have any cameras or anything, do you? Um, no. All right then, my curious friends. I'll show you something that'll really knock your socks off. Follow me. My ticket to fortune and fame. Show it's the name. Space is my game. Hey, Sally Kimball. Hi, let me be. Is it from outer space? That's us. I've got cameras hidden oh. all over the woods. I've even got mini cams that transmit from trees and don't need a cable. What for? To record history. In the woods? This looks like the UFO we saw last night. Where'd you get it? From a toy store in Idaville. Looks just like the real one, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, can we borrow this? Sure. Then you saw it too? Saw it! Ha! Kids, this UFO is gonna make me famous. That's it! It's real! It's real, all right. This footage is one of a kind. I'm going to sell it to TV and write books about close encounters. Heck! I'll be on Johnny Carson and David Letterman. How did you know who was going to show up here? Well, I heard reports of sightings for days. There's that guy. Oh, bosh. That's me, Wolfert. Uh, he's UFO hunting, too. Of course, he's not scientific about it like I am. How does he do it? Go talk to him. You ask me, he's the one from outer space. Come to me. <laughs> I feel a presence. <laughs> Children, with questions. Hey, cool. I was right. This is far out and groovy. I'm out of here. <sighs> Hi, my name is... Names e aren't important. It's vibes that count. <gasps> Sit down. Let's wrap. Uh, Miss Sherwood said you were UFO hunting. Oh, yeah, the tech head. <laughs> She's so busy with all her gadgets, she doesn't realize all you need is this. <laughs> A headband? Brainwaves, man. Brainwaves. Extraterrestrials are way more advanced than us. I'm going to make brain contact and be one with them. <laughs> Why? Well, because it's a, a real groovy thing to do. I knew it. But also, because I can spread the word. People seek me out from all over the world just to learn the secrets of the universe. <laughs> hey, is that a far-out concept or what? <laughs> How'd you know the UFO was going to show last night? I told you, man. Brain waves. I'll tell you something else. I got another feeling. Something big is going down. 
right here. up and getting out of here. I ain't hanging out with a boogeyman from space. Oh, can we help? No. And if you were smart, you get out of here too. And tell your friends back home about the UFO. So they could stay home too. This is getting scary, Evie. What if there really are aliens from outer space? The aliens might be coming. <coughs> now go get some big ones. <sighs> I'm gonna kill you! Shit! Have you kids seen Chief Brown? He isn't back yet? No. I'm getting worried. Don't worry, Mom. Dad knows how to take care of himself. E.B.? You don't suppose there really is a flying saucer out there? I don't know, Mom. I really don't know. Day, little herb partner. Well, don't be scared. I ain't gonna hurt you none. I know. You're just a fantasy. What's with the cowboy get up? Well, you see, me and old Bessie here, we was hightailing it through the solar system when we got this picture signal from Earth. Well, I never been to these parts before, and everybody in the picture dressed like this. So, you must have picked up an old TV western. Yeah. Hey, what you got there? That looks like old Bessie. That's funny. Nobody on Earth ever seen Bessie before. I just don't got here. That's right. No one saw the UFO before last night. How could they know what it looked like to make this toy? Unless, unless, bingo! Happy trails. Well, hang on. I was fixing to fix some grub. I'll do the best I can, no guarantees. I still don't get it. Every sound has a frequency, like a fingerprint. If you put a sound through this control board and find its frequency, you can block it so it can't be heard. But what for? Watch. That's the UFO. Right, now let's work on that beeping sound. Hey, cool, it's going. Now, that rumbling sound. You did it! Well, what's that other sound? Well, that was hidden behind the louder sounds. Wait, I've heard that before. So have I, and it proves what I've been thinking all along. That the UFO is a fake. Fake? Yep, and I know who the faker is. Come on.
What's going on? E.B. asked us to meet him here. Yeah, what are we doing here, E.B.? I get a proof to you that the UFO is just a big hoax. But it looked real, man. Sure it did. But here's the tip-off. A toy flying saucer that looks exactly like the UFO. Coincidence? Or maybe the toy maker knew what it looked like beforehand. Well, what do you think? I think Axel makes toys for a living. Did you make this toy, Axel? Oh, <laughs> me? <laughs> I might have. Picture this. A spaceship lands in the woods. The news spreads like wildfire, and the whole country goes UFO crazy. And these toys just so happen to be sitting in stores waiting to be bought. It's the perfect publicity stunt. Somebody could make a fortune. You slime. You fake the UFO just to sell toys. Disgusting. Not cool, man. Definitely not cool. No way. How could I hide something that big? It's pretty hard to hide this, too. Unless the air was let out. A balloon. The UFO was a balloon. When you pack something made of rubber, like a big balloon, you have to dust it with something to keep it from sticking together. Like baby powder. And it's real hard to blow up a big balloon all by yourself. You need compressed air, like from a scuba tank. But how did it fly? That sound on the tape from the UFO. A toy helicopter. You could attach a balloon onto this and fly it anywhere. Exactly. Far out. I don't care what you guys say. Unless you can come up with a UFO, I'm innocent. When we saw you this morning, Axel, what did you have in your backpack? You guys are whacked. I'm going home. Let's see what's in the backpack, shall we? This is it! This is a flying saucer! There's nothing to be scared of anymore. The UFO is a fake. Case closed. Mrs. B, E.B. figured it out. The UFO was a fake. Where are you going, Mom? Your father's been gone for hours. I'm going to find him. It'll be dark soon. You get lost, too. Maybe I can make contact with him through brain waves. Oh, find a life for yourself. I can't let him stay out there. It'll be dark soon. I mean, what if he's hurt? But he could be anywhere. You'd never find him. Wait, I've got an idea. Axel. Leave me alone. I know I'm a creep. You are a creep, but you can make it up to us if you help us out.
Get him. Come on, everybody. I know what I did was stupid. I didn't mean to scare everybody so much. I'm sorry. That's okay, Axel. Let's go get my dad. I can't figure out how I got lost. I followed my compass due south, but somehow I got twisted around. Is that the way you held it? Yeah, just like this. A compass needle is magnetic. It always points to magnetic north, unless it's close to something metal. My badge. The magnetic needle was attracted to my badge. That means whichever way I stood... You always thought you were going south. Well... Made it back anyway, thanks to all of you. But I never did find the UFO. I'm beginning to think it was just a plane or a satellite. I don't think so, Dad. I think we just imagined the whole thing. All right, guys. Bye. There's something really important I think we should do. What's that? It's time I gave that lecture on wilderness survival. I'm an expert now. <laughs>